Barak Atha Yahweh, Barak Atha Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles, the elders, and salutations to you sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson is going to be entitled, Not Preaching Esau Prolongs Captivity. And we are not to worship idols, man. This is an actual man that lived. Jezre Borgia, the, the, the son of the sixth pope of Rome. Okay? This was an actual man that was painted up in the image and the likeness of Jesus the Christ. Okay? Because Jesus the Christ did what? He walked the earth physically, man. So he had a physical body, a physical appearance, and physical characteristics that are written up in the Bible. And, and every uh, Bible characteristic characteristic that is written of him is contrary to the image right there. Well, I'd agree with that. So what? That's that, a shame. That's that really goes a back. Of exactly. Like that. So that goes back to exactly. That goes back to confusion. So in these last days, the Most High is lifting up that veil of confusion from the people, but only for his people, the chosen of his people. Now, truth be told, I get a, a Revelation 13. Because, con, con. Hey, because, because you really want to know why, why you must pay or why you must why must these people get vengeance upon what's been done to them? Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. And this is a visual for Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Now preaching Esau is part of the doctrine, man. So if a camp is not preaching Esau, they're prolonging our captivity, which means salvation is not nigh. Okay? Yahweh Bashem Yahushai has set up true men that's going to preach the full doctrine, man, that has 100% truth, man, if you can receive that. Okay? Because if a camp or camps are going off on one thing, their whole entire doctrine is corrupted. Great millstone through the spirit is the house of David, man. And preaching Esau, part of the doctrine. Okay, because after 1,000 years, after he has served hardcore slavery, he is going to be gathered and burned the fuck up, man. And the other nations, they will be in slavery as well for 1,000 years. However, after 1,000 years, they will return back to their lands. But they will be in subjection of the Israelites. And they're going to be following the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Plain and simple, man. You know, but see these sellouts, they have found their continuing city within this city. They have found their so-called place of rest, man. And Yahweh by Shem Yahushai is going to kill all of you motherfuckers, man. All right? And the flunkies that break bread with you, as well as your congregation, man. Because you see the true men of the Lord out there putting their lives in the fire every weekend, through the week, man, by the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Shai, man. First Peter 1 and 10, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently. Because that's what it's all about, getting saved. But in order for Yahweh Shai to return, prophecies has to be fulfilled. And wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1 is a prophecy, man. And if that prophecy is not being fulfilled, then therefore Yahweh Shai cannot come back, which means our captivity is prolonged. Who prophesied of the grace that shall come unto you? 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall the wicked be revealed. Now, when Apostle Paul was on earth, the Edomites were classified as the Romans, man. And now in this present reincarnation, you know, they have been revealed. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And how is he doing that? By his men out there preaching. Now, if this prophecy has not been fulfilled, Yahweh Shai can now return, man, and shall destroy it with the brightness of his coming, meaning Yahweh is going to send Yahweh Shai back on earth when all prophecies has been fulfilled, man. And see, the elite know what they're doing, man. That's why they have these Judas goats, man. I hear corrupting the minds of, of Israel, man. Proverbs 30 and 6. Add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee. Now, how does Yahweh by Shem shall reprove you? By his men, through his men, via his men. And thou be found a liar.
liar. Nate, you are found a liar. Nazariah, you are found a liar. Raka of GOCC, you are found a liar. Balloon, you are found a liar. And all you other motherfuckers that are not teaching the truth and sincerity, man, all of you all are liars, man. When you say that Esau is not going to be destroyed or Esau is not the white man or Esau would not be desolate, then you are found a liar, okay? And you're adding to the scriptures. When you say he's not going to be destroyed, it's always going to be a remnant on earth. You're, you're adding to the scriptures, man. Esau is going to be destroyed, man. And that spirit will come back after a thousand years as a Moabite, a Hamite, Ishmaelite, or an Ammonite, man, and etc. Revelation 22 and 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, the Most High shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. For a lot of you, it's too late, man. You're destined for death. A lot of you are not going to repent, man. And you never trust a person that has his fucking hair lined up, man. What the fuck can he tell you, man? I'm talking to you, Nazariah. You know? Because you don't know the scriptures, man. And then you got um, Napoleon back again and shit. I guess you just go into the tomb and drag his ass out every now and then. You know, he's not even consistent. You niggas are some fucking idiots and you don't know the scriptures and the spirit is not within you all, man. And Lord willing, y'all be destroyed, man. Because y'all niggas not right, man. Unless you repent. It's a label, though. You're going to be a slave in heaven. You guys ain't dropped the news yet. Yeah, you're going to slavery. I dropped that news. With that, hope you're edified. Shalom.